Welcome to Real Physics. You know this channel is about fundamental physics, but sometimes before going into these deep fundamental stuff, you have to call out the bullshit, which unfortunately prevails in contemporary physics. And my very cheeky first book from Urknall zum Durchknall is in English Bankrupting Physics. And I'm giving you a couple of quotes here. It's about string theory and the fact that even proponents of string theory sometimes realize their own ideas are becoming too crazy. So the subchapter is from the spirits that I called Sir Deliver Me. There is no suggestion here that Witten or others went into string theory with any intention of causing harm to science. But after a generation of theoretical physicists employing their talents to advancing string theory, we have arrived at a point where there are 10 to the 500 different versions of string theory and there is no rule whatsoever that guides us toward a reasonable choice in this chaos. This arbitrary construction is called landscape, a perspective Witten found utterly discomforting, so much that some feared his retreat from string theory altogether. Imagine the Pope leaving the church. However, there is a so-called entropic solution to the problem of so many possible string worlds. One of this nearly infinite number of universes, or multiverses if you want, must be realized. Because otherwise we humans wouldn't live here in it. David Gross fights against this multiverse absurdity with Winston Churchill words. Never, never, never give up. Gross has become aware at this point that the theory has slid into pseudoscience, although he and his Princeton String Quartet have contributed a lot to this sad end. Just like a confused mountain guide, Gross is lost in the new landscape of prophets such as Leonard Siskind, who don't look into the gorge but continue to promise the pie in the sky. It seems as if string theory is providing a sort of negative evolution, where the most stupid ideas prevail. What next? In YouTube videos, you can follow the birth of future string theories. Witten sketches a line on a piece of paper connecting the five conventional string theories, and that's about it. Oh yes, a name is invented, M-theory. As Witten explains, it refers to magic, mystery, or maybe matrix. Brian Greene would presumably call it the mother of all theories. But there are also mockers, such as Sheldon Glashow, who see the M as an upside-down W for Witten. The cheeky Joao Magesho associated M with mathematical masturbation. I do not want to pursue this idea, but be careful. Theoretical physicists have become frustrated with their eternal fiancy, the standard model. String theory is the hot mistress whose thrilling sexiness outstrips all imagination. Up to now, however, it's all in their minds.